I am standing in front of the most advanced robotic surgical system, the Da Vinci X, which we call a robotic surgery. It may feel that a machine or a robot is doing a surgery is not exactly so. The entire procedure is under the control of a surgeon. Even we can see a display pad over on the surgeon's console, which has each and every specifications which can be controlled by the surgeon so that safety of the procedure is maintained. So that is the most advanced robotic surgical system you can see. This is the entire unit. We can perform difficult cancer surgeries very easily with this robotic surgical system. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kostav Basu, consultant gynae oncologist and robotic surgeon with Narayana Health, currently stationed at Narayana Super Specialty Hospital, Howrah. So as you can see, there are three components of the robotic surgical system. One is the patient cart with the robotic arms. This is the vision cart with the display monitor and this is the surgeon's console where the surgeon sits and operates and controls the entire surgery. So coming to the most important component of the robotic surgery system, which is the patient cart. The patient cart comes close to the operation theater table where the patient is lying down. And with the help of robotic arms so, and through four holes, the robotic instruments goes inside the patient's abdomen. So you can see this is the robotic arm 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the, by the help of these ports, robotic ports, the instruments gets inside the abdominal cavity and these instruments can be controlled with the help of controllers in the surgeon's console. So four arms are there for different purposes. The Arm 2 is used for the endoscope or the camera. The camera goes inside the abdomen and captures a 3D image. Coming to the camera of the robotic system, we call this as a robotic endoscope. The beauty of this scope is the 3D vision and stereoscopic vision. And it has a special light source called the infrared light or the firefly technology through which we can illuminate the cancer cells and the cancerous tissues so that we can identify and separately remove the cancerous tissues. And these robotic instruments, as I can show you, these are very advanced instruments. The beauty of the instrument is that it can rotate to any possible degree. So, human hand has a degree of freedom of 360 degree. But the robotic instruments have an endo wrist which can rotate up to 540 degrees and it has 7 degrees of freedom. So with the help of these robotic instruments, especially with the endo wrist, we can reach to any part of the abdominal cavity and operate on difficult organs. And one more thing is this camera is entirely controlled by the surgeon over there. He does not have to depend on any other person to show the camera. This is the beauty of these robotic instruments and we have different types of robotic instruments which goes through these ports into the abdominal cavity and the surgeon can operate with ease. Coming to the vision cut, we can see a LED monitor where the entire abdominal cavity can be displayed for the help of the surgeon's assistants, the scrub nurses and the operation theater technologists. So whatever is visible to a surgeon on the console in a 3D format is reflected over here in a 2D format. Lot of messages you can see over here, these are like notifications. So any error in the system during the surgical performance will be displayed over here and accordingly it can be rectified. So this ensures the safety 
of the entire da vinci system below there is the endoscope controller over there which controls the camera it is basically the cpu of the robotic surgical system and we can see the display over there that is the diathermy settings we can change the diathermy the electro pottery settings over there according to the purpose of the surgery coming to the surgeon's console the surgeon sits over here we can see this is a stereoscopic binocular vision through which the surgeon sees into the operative field in a 3d format the idea of this 3d vision is almost like mimicking the abdominal cavity with as if you are seeing with open eyes and the very delicate structures can be identified and can be dissected out especially when we are performing cancer surgeries so injury to the delicate organs which we want to preserve can be prevented with the help of this 3d vision you can see the controllers over there which is basically comes within the grip of the surgeon the surgeon moves the controllers and with the movement of the controllers the movement of this instruments robotic instruments will happen inside the abdominal cavity so you can easily identify although it is called a robotic surgery but the entire procedure is under the control of the surgeon's view so with this advanced surgical system we can perform very complex pelvic surgeries especially gynec oncologic surgeries so in gynecological oncological cancers especially endometrial cancers which has lymphatic spread we need to go deep into the pelvic spaces identify ureter identify nerves and then take out the lymph nodes from the vessels so these delicate structures can be easily identified by such a advanced surgical system as i told you the endorest movement of the robotic instruments and the stereoscopic 3d vision helps to identify these structures and the firefly technology with the special infrared fluorescence helps in identifying the cancer tissues so the cancer tissues can be easily identified and demarcated from the normal tissues and can be taken out with precision so the most commonly performed cancer surgeries in gynecology with this robotic surgical system is endometrial cancer surgery cervical cancer surgery and even in some cases of ovarian and vulval cancer surgeries even we can perform a special technique called sentinel lymph node dissection where only the lymph node which is involved with the cancerous tissue can be selectively taken out by using the firefly technique so that will avoid complications with the removal of entire lymph node chain even we can preserve delicate nerves which supplies to the bladder and bowel thus preserving bladder and bowel functions intraoperative blood loss is very minimal because of the advanced electrosurgical system the hospital stay is much reduced antibiotic use is reduced and the recovery to normal life is much faster than any other surgery so this is the beauty of this surgical system that we can preserve the quality of life of the patient after removal of the cancerous tissue so this was in a nutshell all about robotic surgical system so you must be aware that robotic surgery is the most advanced surgery available and is equally safe so if you have any friends or relatives who have cancer and who is planned for surgery never forget to ask your doctor about robotic surgery thank you